Have you ever had a situation whereby you're having some issues with your colleague and then you're hoping or assuming that both of you would maturely settle it amongst yourself and it doesn't have to get to any body senior or any of your bosses? Only for your boss to call you or probably doing your next catch up, the person is now telling you everything about what happened and then you have to play defense. No, I didn't say this. No, I didn't mean this. No, I didn't do this. And you're really surprised that uh, your colleague went ahead to tell your boss. How do you avoid or repeat situation or avoid this happening to you at all? Hello, my name is Ayo. Welcome to Tips and Joy, where I share interview and career tips as well as tech insights. Hit the subscribe button. So if you notice that you're having issues with a colleague, whether spoken or unspoken issues, uh, the first step is usually scheduling some time with the person over coffee or, I mean, virtually, just to understand their point of view and also to share your own point of view so that you're on the same page. Now, after doing this, you probably observe and, you know, see how things go, whether they progress well or if there are no changes at all. That's the first step. Now, the second step is optional and it depends on you. People will say, if the first step goes well, you don't need to do the second step, but it also depends on you. Some people will also say, regardless of the outcome of the first step, move over to the second step. Now, what is the second step? The second step is mentioning it to your boss. Now, some people also feel funny about, oh, it seems like I'm reporting. I don't want to be a snitch. That's not the issue. You are also protecting yourself. So it could be something like me and this person, we're trying to sort out some things. I'll let you know how things go just to make your boss aware. You don't want to be in the situation whereby you're defending yourself. You know how hard it is to convince someone, no, I didn't mean this, this is what I meant. Oh, this is what you said, that is what I said. You're also protecting yourself and you don't want to you know, make mis misunderstandings affect your performance review. So it's always a good idea to you know, let your boss know about it and then keep them posted so that in case the issue escalates, both of you are then going together as a team, as opposed to you trying to convince your boss first and then hoping and praying your boss will be able to convince other people that that's not what you meant. So if you've ever had this kind of situation or if you've ever tried this or if you've tried any other thing and it has worked well for you, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.